Hello, hello, and welcome to a fresh, fresh edition of Quizzing with the Comedian. Fresh uh, year, fresh setup. Everything is fresh about this edition, and this is our fifth themed edition, which is a business and tech uh, edition. Uh, so, what we are doing in this edition is uh, questions from the world of business, from brand, from technology. But these are all still fun questions. These are not very niche, like too technical or too businessy, uh, so to speak. These are all. But these all these questions can uh, also qualify to be part of a general quiz. Uh, it's just that we've created a category to have fun around it. Um, again, sixteen contestants, four quarterfinals, two semifinals, one finale, one new winner. Uh, probability wise, high probability that we'll we might have a new uh, quizzing with the comedians winner. We only have one ex winner amongst the sixteen contestants. Um, Okay, let's begin the first quarter final of uh, Biztech edition, a new themed edition in quizzing with the comedians. We have four contestants. All four of them have been here before. Um, let me call them one by one alphabetically, as it always works. Um, the first contestant is someone who was earlier in in uh, cricket and football edition. He was a finalist there. Uh, he was there in the last general edition uh, where he lost on tiebreaker in the quarter final, if I remember correctly. Give it up for Angad Singh Ranjan. Thank you, thank you, KV. Thank you, KV. Welcome, thank you for having me. Today, uh, definitely, we will win easily. No tension. No matter what we do, we have put our hands on Bissar and Malika. We have not come to shame you. We have not come to shame you. We have not come to shame you. When we go to work, people ask us, what do you want to shame you? Number one, this should be. One day, I have put my hands on Malika and Bissar. अजीम और सौरभ को पोस्टर पे देख के मैं खुश हो गया था मैंने कहा चलो इनसे तो जीत ही जाएंगे बट वो साथ में आए नहीं चलो कोई नहीं आप तीनों अलग अलग हो एक्चुअली हाँ यही सी को ऐसा ऐसा मैंने अलग अलग कर दिया इंस्पायरिंग इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम आप लोगों के रियल लाइफ इवेंट्स ओके ऑन दैट नोट दी लाइक आई मेंशन अर्लियर दी ओनली पर्सन वाज वन एन एडिशन अर्लियर सो इफ ही डजन विन दिस एडिशन देन फॉर शॉर वील हैव अ न्यू क्विजिंग विद द कमेडियंस विनर गिव इट अप फॉर बिस्वा कल्याण रत गूगल पे वो क्वेश्चन डालना जो भी आंसर आएगा वो इधर पकड़ के रखना तो मैं देख के बता हाँ ह Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. Nice to be here. Welcome, welcome back, buddy. But it's gonna be very tough. The whole, the whole time I'll play like this. <laughs> okay. No, I'll just now, the third contestant who uh, we've always said is my favorite uh, quizzing the greatest contestant. And Angad said that I have Biswa and why ko huh? in quizzing format. If I add, guess why. <laughs> Give it up for our quizzing constant. Like from first edition to this edition, Malika Dua. थर्ड जनरेशन थर्ड और फोर्थ गिव इट फॉर शाद शफी वेरी नाइस बैकग्राउंड और मेरा क्विजिंग का दिमाग चलता रहता है ना तो ऑन दिस फ्रेम वी एक्चुअली है आई आई टी फ्रॉम बिस्वा डेली फ्रॉम मलिका एम बी ए फ्रॉम अंगत So you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, we have uh, money from you also. <laughs> Let's start with the first quarter final. All the best, Angad, Biswa, Malika, and Arya and Shad. Uh, let's begin. Cool. Okay. First, very first question of a new edition. We are going to Angad. Angad, I'm talking about a certain company. The company X began to build factories. in other locations in the united states because the demand for products had outgrown the capacity of its cincinnati facilities okay in the 1920s the company advertised its products on the new medium of radio and from 1932 forward was one of the biggest sponsors of radio programs as a result these shows came to be known as y 
because of what was being advertised so i want two things from you uh, the company and what is the what's why basically so what was uh, the name that was given to these radio programs because of what was being advertised a lot on radio programs okay i have no idea let me see if i can have an educated guess mm-hmm. I will pass. Okay, Angad passes. We go to Biswa. Mm, is there half point for half the guess? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, is it soap operas? Yes, that is correct. Why is soap opera? Because a lot of soap advertisements used to come in those programs. So they started being called soap opera, a term that we still use. Uh, and now just tell me the company that was doing those soap advertisements. Yeah, generally, I am very aware of US soap companies. Uh, I don't even know any Indian soap companies uh, except Life Boy. So let me just uh, think <laughs> so that I don't sound so stupid also. <laughs> Brother, uh, <laughs> I'm going to show my uh, amount of knowledge by saying Dove. <laughs> Dove? Okay. Dove company. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so part points to Vissa for soap opera going to Malika only for the company. Not Johnson and Johnson going to Shad. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, L'Oreal. Uh, no, not L'Oreal. Okay, we are going to Angad again, this time only for X. Okay. Um, so, we are talking, we are, uh, X is actually an American company, as you can see, uh, based out of Cincinnati. But the thing is, this is a not just a soap brand, but a huge company within which there are a lot of soap brands. You know, Sorry, yeah. uh, for example, like this was guess I liked when he said Dove because Dove is one of the competitors of this brand. Okay, so this brand owns Olay, and like Olay is the competitor to Dove from there. PNG guy. Yes. yes, PNG is correct. Procter and Gamble. You're looking at Procter and Gamble and Soap Opera. Okay. PNG white laundry soap. Okay, so I'm giving six to Biswa for uh, uh, soap opera. Four was for PNG, which came after him. So two to Angad for PNG. So two to Angad for Procter and Gamble. Six to Biswa for soap opera. And the next direct will be to Malika. Okay, uh, okay Malika. Uh, we are talking about a certain innovation in technology. Okay, when asked about how he came up with it in an interview, he replied. I'll put myself in the place of a user, a college guy walking across campus, coffee in one hand and phone in the other. In doing so, I realized that it wouldn't require an exact target, something that requires the user to be precise. Then one morning, I jumped into a hot shower. When I stepped out, the room was specially foggy. I wiped the mirror clean, but within a minute, it was fogging up again. I wiped it clean a second time, only this time, dot, dot, dot. And the innovation struck his mind. Weeks later, it was implemented and it was able to accomplish two things at once, navigating and decision making. Okay. What innovation is being discussed above? Rereading. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Um, Google voice command? I don't know. No, not Google voice command. Shad? Is it the, uh, like the digital keyboard we have on our phones? Like how, uh, like, you know, when you use it, uh, the next probable key becomes a little bigger. Oh, okay. You mean like auto suggestion? Kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, No. Angad? Yeah, it, it feels like something I've read, but I'm going to strike me or I will put it. I feel like I don't know what that is called, but keyboard pay when you like you have to write swift, so you move your hand in S W I F T and move swift click letter. Uh no, going to Biswa. Is it swipe left on Tinder? Beautiful answer. It is <gasps> a oh, wow. once he swiped his 
the fog like this and then he did this and he's like hey that's great you can swipe you can make decisions and you can navigate so he started swipe feature on tinder you can swipe on right left and this was the founder of tinder that we were talking about and now every dating weird how the married contestant knows the answer to this <laughs> hey <laughs> answer it is the swipe i knew soap also i don't take a bath now you have problem <laughs> <laughs> i just know <laughs> But you watch soap opera, so it's fine. Yes. Uh, did you know this answer? Did you like get it? I guessed it, but I read it three times, and I was like, "He must, I mean, fog to swipe, karra hoga." And then once you think of it, then uh, it fits. Yeah. Yeah. Also, generally, when he explains his target user, also it's just a college guy walking across campus, coffee in one hand. You don't have time. You don't need exact thing like precise thing. You're just doing this, 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 this. So from there. This innovation started. Okay, this is Malika Sare. We're coming back to our country now. In after Coca Cola's exit from the Indian market, following the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act (FERA), the Janata Party launched a fizzy beverage. Okay, meant for the good times. The drink was the Janata Party's way of celebrating the end of emergency and the downfall of Indira Gandhi's government. The party wanted to forever cement their victory by naming the drink after the year they took over. However, the drink soon met its end after Indira Gandhi reclaimed victory three years later. Also known as Sarkari Cola, what was the name of this drink? No, Rim Zim. Rim Zim. Not Rim Zim. Uh, Shad. I don't know, man. Campa Cola. Not Campa Cola. Campa Cola. Angad. Again, no idea. Thumbs up. Not thumbs up, Biswa. Sorry, I'm I'm just rereading the question. So it came very fast. Sorry, I don't even know what the question is. I was celebrating the previous answer. And... Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. It's is it uh, something seventy four or something? Um, Cola seventy four is my answer. good guess uh, we'll start again with malika um, so the question is right there if i have to summarize the question says the drink was named after the year they took over so essentially what we need to crack like this was guess was very close you have to think in that direction think the year in which janata party came to power and uh, they named the drink after that year basically so now we we'll start but the drink name has cola in it no just just the year is fine i'll give you points for that pata nahi mera to paida bhi nahi hai pass okay passing to shad which year did uh, okay uh, i don't know 78 not 78 angad 77 Yes, that is correct. The drink was actually called Satatar or Seventy Seven or Double Seven. Okay, Double Seven was the drink's name. Double Seven, Double Seven is the is what the drink was called. It's reference in Sacred Games also first season. If you remember, Namaz and all they launch a Sarkari Cola. Uh, okay, got it. Got it. Okay, Seventy Four is what Biswa said in the beginning. So Seventy Five is when emergency came two years yeah. later. In seventy-seven is when Janata Party came to power. Nineteen eighty, Indira Gandhi came back again. Oh, okay, cool. We're it. just here to learn, guys. Hard beat, but we'll be right. Malika, we all <laughs> here for that purpose. Yes. <laughs> I'm here to win, guys. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Biswa. We believe in you. Biswa, <laughs> you don't need to learn. <laughs> okay, coming to Biswa again. Biswa, this is uh, you know, an again an invention that we're talking about. Bunch of uh, Things I need from you. X was invented by American chef Ruth Graves Wakefield in 1938. In this era, the restaurant she owned, called uh, Toll House Inn, was popular and it featured home cooking. A myth holds that she accidentally developed X, okay, which is a product, and that she expected one of the ingredients, I. So, I is one of the ingredients that she was using. She expected I would melt, making a different product, but it didn't. Melt and hence she invented X. 
Later, Wakefield gave Y, and Y is the company whose product was I. So the ingredient that she was using was from a company called Y. The recipe for X and was paid with a lifetime supply of the ingredient from the company. I need two things from you. One is what did she invent? What are we talking about? And second is what is the company whose certain ingredient she was using? Yeah. Okay. मैं वेरिएबल तो तूने शायद पहली बारी आई दिया पूरे कुछ हिस्ट्री हाँ हाँ मुझे रिलाइज हो तो जो आई फॉर इंग्रेडिएंट्स तो सॉरी आई कैन आई जस्ट थिंक फॉर अ सेकंड या है हाँ हाँ बेस्वा कोई टेंशन नहीं बाद में बनी तो हिंट के साथ तूने ही गैस कर दी अरे भाई क्या स्लेजिंग चल रहा टेक योर टाइम बेस्वा दिस yeah so i was sorry i'm little confused uh -huh. i was a product of the company why already yeah and he she was trying to melt it but she couldn't melt it so she created something else yeah and then uh why ne bola ki tumko pura time denge iska supply life time ke yeah okay got it and like it's not that she was only taking i and melting it she was putting i in something and she expected it to melt but it didn't melt you know okay i have a such a dumb guess it would be amazing okay let's go for the dumb guess don't guess but i think i might know so it's very dumb so i am also taking a little bit of time to is it popcorn not popcorn okay going okay. to malika ओके फर्स्ट आई जस्ट से इट इन द रैंडम ऑर्डर ओके मुझे लगता है यहां कुछ नेस्ले जेली जेलेटिन का मामला चल रहा है बट आई एम नॉट श्योर अह एक्स वाज इन्वेंटेड बाय जेली एक्स इज वेट वेट नो ओके Is it milk made and Nestle and something? Okay, I'm giving points to Malika for Nestle. Okay. Okay. Nestle okay. Is correct. I'll go to Shad only for what she was trying to make or what she, did she eventually create. But one particular ingredient that she was using comes from Nestle. Okay, so Malika gets points for Y. Uh, we'll go to Shad only for X. What was she trying to make? Was she was trying to make? What did she accidentally invent, basically? Oh man. Uh... Did she invent chocolate? <laughs> Good track. Uh, something to do with chocolate, but I would want you to be more specific. Oh, okay. Uh, more specific about something chocolate. To do with chocolate, like obviously, if, if you think she was in the house, she won't be really trying to make chocolates in the house. Cake. But cake. Chocolate no. cake. Good guess. Uh -huh. Chocolate cake. Okay, I'll I'll come back to you. Going to Angad. Is it chocolate chip cookie? It is chocolate chip cookie. That is correct. Oh, I thought it is that because. Are it because friends? Yeah. It is in friends. Yes, that is correct. I didn't know it's chocolate, chocolate chip cookie. cookie only. I thought Are Toll House makes different things. वो Phoebe का Toll House ही था मुझे पता था मुझे लग रहा था वो ही होगा. Then she lied to her grandmother. Yeah, yeah. Toll House. Yeah, Toll House. Yeah. Yeah. house. Phoebe, friends. Yes, chocolate chip cookies and Nestle. Uh, very nice i am here to learn guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> we all are okay uh difficult point distribution but chocolate chip cookies is the answer and nestle is the answer so angad and malika would get bulk of the point but shad said chocolate i want to give some points to shad also yes. so uh one zero <laughs> chocolate chip cookies i am giving five to angad giving four to malika for nestle And giving one to Shad for chocolate. Yes, number one. Getting ten. Okay, five to Angad because chocolate chip cookies. Four to Malika for Nestle and one to Shad. <laughs> okay, cool. Chocolate chip cookie Nestle points were split amongst Angad, Malika, and Shad. Uh, but Angad got bulk of the points there. Five. So next question will be to Biswa. Easy. Okay. One of the many interesting facts about this company is that all of its offices worldwide have a phone number. that ends with the number 6453 uh 
as this number spells out the company's name on the keypad. It is also a nod to the company's ambassador, Steve Prefontaine, his best time in the mile, which was uh, 3 minutes 54.6 seconds. So it was exactly to the tenth of, the sec uh, of a second. 3546. So they, their nod is 6453. Which company are we talking about? Uh, I just have uh, one question. Can we use like a notebook and stuff while our hands are... Stressed? Yeah, you can use note, uh, notebook, pen, anything. I know the answer. I'm just calculating. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nike. Nike, Nike is correct. Ten point there to Biswa. Four, four digit. Like that was also a clue. Like four, four letters. Yeah, six, four, five, three. A Nokia keypad. I yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. typing. I was yeah. drawing the keypad. <laughs> 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 Sorry, brother. Problem of young age. Oh man. <laughs> Older people just imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Biswa gets full ten points. First full ten points of the quiz for Nike. And I go to Malika. Krishna question answer karne mein teen log lage the. Is question mein akela hi biswa kaafi. Okay, now we are here with a particular product that Kellogg's had launched back in the day. Kellogg's X serial was introduced in 1984 and was inspired by the multilingual character X from Star Wars. The serial itself uh, called itself a new crunchy force at breakfast and was composed of twin rings faced together for two crunches in every double O. In other words, they were shaped like the digit eight. What was the name of this product that say, that Kellogg's had launched in mid eighties? Yaar, wo uska naam kya is robot ka? White or orange wala? I have not seen like shit. Then Rohan Joshi wala sawal aage. Fuck, what is it called? I know what it's called. Wait one second. This is too obvious. Please hold on. One is R two D two. This is not that. The other guy, the Golu one. I'm sure people are dying and making fun of me. But fuck! What is it called? C two P three R or something. C three P O. C. Let me know whenever you give your final answer, <laughs> so we can react. <laughs> I think it's. Uh, I have not. Yeah, guys, I've not seen any of the Star Wars films. C three PO. C three PO. That is correct. Perfect. Oh. They were called C three PO uh, serials. Okay, C three PO serial. The multi. Oh, but but this was the. Oh, I'm imagining that other thing. Ah, you Maybe. were actually thinking about R two D two, but you ended yeah. up answering the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chalo. It yeah. helps to be stupid. Man, yeah. one time I was hoping it comes to me. <laughs> So, yeah, it, this was a fresh, unadulterated tukka. C3PO, multilingual was a hint. For people who've seen Star Wars, basically C3PO is a is a guy who knows like millions of languages. And yeah, C3PO, ten points there to Malika. And now I go to Shad. Shad, this is your direct one second. Talking about a certain company, the company X was formed in 1997 from the merger of Guinness Brewery and Grand Metropolitan. X is an invented name that was created by branding company. The name is composed of the Latin word meaning day and a Greek root meaning world. So day plus world and is meant to reference the company's slogan, which is celebrating lives every day, everywhere. Which company that is the world's largest producer of scotch whiskey are we talking about? Of course, I'll know this answer. <laughs> uh. Scotch whiskey. Uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, Guinness and Grand. Pass. I don't know. Okay, going to Angad. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure when I hear the name, I'll just beat myself up. अब तो तो जो दारू वाली कंपनियों के लिए शो कर रहे थे उनके भी नाम याद नहीं आ रहे. Parent companies. I will pass. Okay, passing to Biswa. Sorry, just one second. It's I can't say Kingfisher. That is my problem. Sorry. Uh, is it Glenlivet? Not Glenlivet. 
Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Malika. Malika. Glenn Lewis was my guest too, actually. Uh, one second. Mm, I don't know. Pass. Okay, cool. We'll give a hint. Start again. Um, so we are looking at a one-word answer. Okay. Uh, and um, the thing is, most of the like Angad said, this is a parent company. So apart from non-whiskey, I know. Brands like, oh uh, shit. Some, or no or baileys they are all owned by them within whiskey all johnny walkers that you see or like uh, um even uh, black and white all of those are owned by so one word answer the big clue here is the word day and word if you think of those origins and combine them one word will come okay malika main uh, shaas shaas i i don't no, know okay. sorry sorry oh, shaas corona um Not corona. Uh, going to Angad. मैंने इनके ऑफिस में शो कर रखा है मुझे नाम नहीं याद आ रहा है मलिका पास कर दे कर दे 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 मुझे मुझे अब एक नाम आया मैं दूसरा नाम याद कर रहा हूँ मुझे ध्यान चलो जो मुझे नाम याद आया मैं वही ले रहा हूँ डियाजियो डियाजियो दैट इज करेक्ट फाइव पॉइंट टू अंगद अफसोस होता हूँ मुझे अगर ये कोई ब्रांड निकलता है मैं पेरेंट कंपनी तो अफसोस होता हूँ Diageo, okay. Diageo is correct. The word, you know, Eo is the word for word in Latin, and then Ds is day. So Diageo. Yeah. Great. Do you own anything, dude? Uh, I'm gonna get five points for Diageo, and I go to Biswa. Biswa, we're talking again an invent an innovation. Uh, the idea for this innovation emerged in 1989 when a struggling realtor Jay Sorensen was pulling out of a coffee shop drive-through. In 2005, MoMA paid tribute to this ingenious design when they featured it in their exhibition titled "Safe: Design Takes on Risk," which features products that were created to protect. Which modern invention that was given the name Java Jacket by Sorensen are we talking about? Is my struggling realtor be a clue? Okay. No, no. Okay. Yeah. ये जो इन स्टारबक्स और कॉफी शॉप्स यू हैव दैट कैप दैट सील्स द ग्लास एंड देन द लिक्विड डजेंट स्पिल आउट इज इट दैट कैप मतलब द बेसिक कॉफी कप कैप ओके गुड गेस्ट बट गोइंग टू मालिका Is it the sleeve, the it coffee the sleeve? sleeve? Yes, it's ten and... points there to Malika. Java jacket. So Java jacket. Yeah. yeah. yeah Java That's jacket. what I was thinking, but then I was like, how does that make it safe? Uh, so you just don't touch the hot hand. beverage. Yeah. yeah. Got it. it got it. Got your it. Hand. Basically, what happened was this guy Jay Sorensen. He put as a coffee liya usne. Got it. He tried driving and it spilled. Our coffee was covered, and he's like, it was so hot, and he had to pick his daughter from school, so he was in hurry. तो जल्दी जल्दी निकल रहा था एंड लाइक देन द आइडिया ऑफ स्लीव किंग जावा जैकेट टेन पॉइंट देयर टू मलिका दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट हाफ क्विक लुक एट द हाफ टाइम स्कोर अंगद ऑन द बैक ऑफ पार्ट पॉइंट्स फॉर पीएनजी एंड पार्ट पॉइंट्स फॉर सारे पार्ट पॉइंट्स फाइव वीज फॉर डबल सेवन एंड डियाजियो एंड फॉर चॉकलेट चिप कुकीज इज ऑन सेवेंटीन ओके बिस्वा विद सिक्स फॉर So popular, and then ten each for swiping feature on Tinder, and for Nike is on twenty six. Malika with four for chocolate chip cookies Nestle question, but two straight tens for C three PO cereal and coffee cup sleeve is on twenty four, and Shad is on one right now. You don't need to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, full half like full half is a nice auxiliary. I think if you just uh, give him. I think if you just give him zero, he'd be happier. Right? <laughs> yeah, one one feels like grace marks. <laughs> and But then pass anything. <laughs> okay, no, the quiz is very close right now. Twenty six, twenty four, seventeen. Just one question. I mean, start. not for everyone. <laughs> for some of you. <laughs> okay, now we'll reverse the order. The order will be Shad, Malika, Biswa, Angad. Okay, so first question will be to Shad in the second half. Danish carpenter Ole Kirk Christiansen established the name X in 1934 for his manufacturing company, 
which originally produced step ladders ironing boards stools and wooden toys the name comes from the danish phrase which means play well in english and i put together or i assemble in latin okay x didn't create the product that the company is known for until 1949 okay so for first 15 years they were creating all the step ladders ironing boards stool wooden toys etc um but the product that we all know x for started being created in 1949 with and the name comes from danish phrase which literally means play well in english and i put together or i assemble in latin this is going to be a very dumb guess okay but is it legos it is legos full 10 points there to start it is lego okay. Ashad, about... now you are also one question <laughs> buddy is it going to be a close competition <laughs> It is Lego. Go to finish. Talking about Lego, Shad gets his first ten points, and I. How know. many people qualify from this panel? One or two? Two, two, two. Crazy. Okay. Two. Two. Shad gets ten points. Very, very interesting quiz. Now, uh, this is now for Malika. Following is the top ten of Sports Pros list of world's fifty most marketable. Fifty mm is how they call it. Fifty most marketable brands in sports. In 2021, so these are the top 10 brands that people associate with sports. Just to clarify, these are not necessarily brands that manufacture sportsing items like Nike or Adidas, but there's also brand like uh, uh, Heineken, which is you know a not really a technically a sports. But these are the brands that you associate with sports. On that list, on top 10, you have Nike, you have Adidas, you have Emirates, Santander, Red Bull, Puma, State Farm, Monster Energy, and Heineken. Number nine. i have removed okay i want the company x from you guys a company that was founded in 2008 so relatively newer company compared to say nike adidas or most of these companies yaar kuch to hint uh ek round lete hain aise by chance nahi nikla to we'll see under armor no <laughs> Ram, going to Biswa. Just a question. Hmm? Uh, marketable brands in sports. I mean, uh, what are we looking at exactly? I mean, uh, things that you can sell in sports uh, events or what exactly in this? Yeah, that is a good track. Like things that can be uh, they are associated with sports so closely that there hmm. is uh, like it works two ways. One is you associate them with particular sports or events a lot secondly the usage of the product is also supposed to go up because of sports got it got like you watch an athlete with nike you feel like buying nike you watch heineken you are like heineken peete stuff like got that. it okay okay is it byju's not byju's angad is it uh, vivo Not Vivo, Shah. Is it Gatorade? Not Gatorade. Okay, we'll do one more round with five, and I know where Anga and Biswa are coming from, so we'll stick with that hint. Um, the hint is India. So let's think of India first. This is an Indian company, um, okay. and uh, the next hint I would give is uh, think cricket. Okay, so cricket and India. and think of a brand that started in 2008 so relatively newer um do you, if all four of you want more hint i can give one more hint i think yeah i want it became a unicorn okay in, got it in 2019 so like two years back this company became a unicorn so india cricket 13 years old company became a unicorn couple of years back Okay, maybe not got it. हाँ इतना confident था तो पूछो नहीं नहीं मेरे दिमाग में कुछ आया अचानक से और अभी लगा कि नहीं वो तो but unicorn is a good hit. Hmm. We are starting with Malika, right? हाँ हाँ. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. Hmm. Unicorn in 2019. Ola. हाँ huh, Ola. Maybe. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, not Ola. Going to Biswa. Okay. Uh, is it Dream Eleven? 
it is dream 11 five team where to go for it is dream 11 okay dream 11 one of the top 10 marketable brands in the world mostly because of its association with ipl I, I, first gaming company to become i didn't know dream 11 was like a unicorn and so big yeah oh, dream 11 Team eleven, so five point there to Biswa, and I go to Angad now. Angad, this is your direct. Starting in nineteen ninety four, and originally named Kadabra, uh, as in Abra Kadabra, the founder renamed his company X a year later after his lawyer mistook it for Kadabra. Okay, he landed on X. Okay, the name that we know this company for uh, X because it's the name of the largest dash in the world. and he wanted his company to reflect its size with the launch tagline earth's biggest dash store in 1995 which company are we talking about both the dash are same uh no sorry should have clarified uh both dashes are different is it walmart not walmart going to shark I think now I got it. I don't know. Caro four is that the answer? not caro four going to Malika? Amazon. Sorry. Amazon. Amazon. That is oh, correct. Ten oh. point there to Malika. Of course. Called Kadabra. Then they even considered Relentless dot com or something like that. Uh, then he picked. Amazon because it's the largest river in the world and he called it Earth's biggest bookstore. Uh, Amazon. Amazon is correct. Ten points there to Malika. Okay, cool. Now that means the next direct will be to Biswa. Next company now. One second. Dikhne ko. From the outset, design was key to his success. Trying to avoid the showiness of other publishers. X opted for a simple three-band layout for all the books, with the upper and lower bands color color coded based on the series they belong to. Sir Alan Lane, the company's founder, actively resisted the introduction of cover images for several years. Some of the color schemes they followed are orange and white for general fiction, green and white for crime fiction, series and white for travel and adventure, dark blue and white for biographies. Which company are we talking about? स्टफ Sometimes they won't do it just to prove, like you know, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover and stuff. Oh, oh. Wow! Nice. <laughs> Last correct answer was Penguin Books by uh, 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 by Biswa. So next direct will come to Angad. In 1956, a chemist named Frederick J. Bohr, in order to address consumer complaints, started developing a saddle shape. From fried dough for his product, for this product, the saddle shape he developed is mathematically known as a hyperbolic paraboloid. However, Bohr could not figure out how to make the product palatable. It was not until the mid 1960s that someone succeeded in improving the taste. There are several theories behind the origin of the brand's name as well. One theory refers to the last name of a person who filed a U.S. patent titled. Method and apparatus for processing potatoes. What brand are we talking about? Is it Pringles? It is Pringles. Superb crack. Ten points. Pringles is technically hyperbolic paraboloid, and uh, yeah, everything else just extends. Beautiful answer. Ten points there to Angad. It is. I'm coming for you, Biswan Malika. Yeah, very close, very very close. ये सारे chips fried खाने वाले questions ऐसे मेरे होने चाहिए। हाँ हम तो सिर्फ bait खा रहे हैं ना जितना ज़िंदगी पे। हम भी तो fried ही खाते हैं। Okay, Pringles is correct. Uh, Angad gets ten points, and I go to Shah. 
Shad, you see a book cover, uh, The Descent of Dash. Okay, this is a book by a certain Jitender Bhargava, a former executive director of the company. The book chronicles the financial downfall of the company slash the sector overall. Bhargava claimed that the book was based on existing documents. As the publisher Bloomsbury decided to not go ahead with the publication because of the ongoing defamation lawsuit, he had to release the book as an ebook on Amazon Kindle in 2014. Just tell me the company this book is about. Uh, is it Sahara? Not Sahara, going to Malika. Sector is not going to be No, it's not going to be But down. But down for. Video con? Not video con. Uh, Biswa? Oh, yeah, one second. Is it Kingfisher? Not Kingfisher. Going to Angad. Oh, plane se to mera bhi guess hoi tha. Uh, Yaar. Is it Satya? Not Satyam. Okay, we'll take one more round, starting with Shad. Um, uh, so the defamation lawsuit was actually from a minister. Uh, so think government slash public sector. Uh, and then we ah. uh, Air India. Air India. That is correct. Five point. Ooh. Bhargava was an executive director with Air India. And he released a book with existing documents and then Praful Patel and like then civil aviation minister, etc. And a lawsuit and the book talks about Air India. Coincidentally, Air India now, you know, we all know. Mm. Back to the Tata's fold. Okay, Shahad gets five points. I actually didn't judge the book by the cover. Stupid advice, Shahad. I would have made a better guess. Plain <laughs> dekke. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, Air India gives Shahad five points and I go to Malika. Okay, main sports question nahi hai, but in 2009, Brent Selleck of the Philadelphia Eagles struck this pose after a touchdown, which apparently was the first attempt by a liquor company at Gorilla Marketing in the NFL. Okay. The company had promised that for each NFL player striking this pose on camera during a regular season game, it would donate to a non-profit which helps retired NFL players. Just tell me which company or brand are we talking about? Heineken? Not Heineken. Going to Biswa. I don't know, man. Uh, is it Johnny Walker? Not Johnny Walker. Angad? My educated guess will be Captain Morgan. Beautiful answer. That is oh. 10 points. It is Captain Morgan. Uh, again, a Diageo brand. Just oh. say. <laughs> Captain Morgan is correct. This is the post that they wanted everyone to create as a marketing tactic. And mainly about Jaldi crack another because AIC in the social media. So, we have to do this. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Oh. Nice. And the quiz became very, very interesting. <laughs> Okay. Angad gets 10 points. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. With that, we come to the last question, which will is obviously the deciding question. Oh my God. Okay. This is Shad. Shad, as expected, will decide the fate of the quiz. <laughs> the last question. <laughs> and, uh, this is for you, Shad. Opened in 1997. This flavor graveyard is located on the grounds of a factory in Waterbury. In oh, ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. That's correct. Oh my god. Shad. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I am not. I think oh my god, Shad. <laughs> the card set <laughs> Which company's ground is this flavor graveyard located in? This is uh, uh, Ben and Jerry's is correct. <laughs> I'll anyway repeat only for the audience and we'll watch it on YouTube later. Uh, opened in 1997, this flavor graveyard is located on the grounds of a factory in Waterbury, Vermont. Each of the 34 grave markers was given a clever epitaph that summed up the life and death of the flavor. 
Some of the flavors ended up in the ground due to bad sales, among other reasons. The flavors include fan favorites like turtle soup, fossil fuel, and wavy gravy. Which company's grounds is this flavor graveyard located in? And as Shah already said, the answer is Ben and Jerry's. Ten points there to Shah. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, we come to the end of the quiz. Let's look at the score. Uh, wow, very, 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 very close quiz. Angad was on seventeen in the first half. He got two ten points in second half with Pringles and Captain Morgan. Ha, huh? this proper Shyam ka plan lag raha hai. Pringles, <laughs> Pringles and Captain Morgan. <laughs> and usse pehle Diageo and then chocolate chip cookies. Or end mein nahane ke liye Procter and Procter and Gamble. Uh, so okay, seventeen and twenty in the second half. So Angad ends on thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, Biswa had 26 in the first half. He got five for Dream Eleven, and he got 10 for Penguin Book. 15 in the second half. So Biswa ends on 41. Okay, just four points ahead of Angad. That's so old he is. This is the game changer. Malika was on 24 after the first half. She got 10 for Amazon, and that's it. Because uh, if Ben and Jerry had come to her, and she would have gotten, then it would have changed. But Shad, Grand Slayer, King Maker, Queen Maker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Shah uh, Balika ends with twenty four plus ten on thirty four, just three points behind Angad and just seven points behind Biswa. So there are three contestants within a span of like ten points. So one answer. And Shah won, and Shah actually won the second half. Uh, Shah has the most points in the second half. He got ten for Lego. He got five for Air India and ten again for Ben and Jerry's. So twenty five plus one. Shah ends on twenty four. Oh, fuck. Wow! Can we do one more round? <laughs> wow, Shad. Yes, <laughs> Kumar Abarun. Oh, yes, twenty-six wow. the lowest score for the last person for in the quiz. Maybe, ha, yeah. maybe. Highest score, sorry, not lowest. Highest score for the fourth person, maybe. Uh, but yeah, but unfortunately, only two people can qualify for semi-final. So the winner of the very first quarter-final is Biswa Kalyanra with forty-one points. <laughs> And in a very very closely fought game, Angad Ranyal is the runner-up, and Angad will qualify for the final. And heartbreak, but like like three points here and there. But Malika ends third on thirty-four, and Shad ends on twenty-six. So thank you so much to Shad and Malika, of course, for always coming here whenever I've asked you guys. Hey, don't mention it. And uh, <laughs> and all the best to Angad and Biswa for the semi. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Chalo. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye.